So we're given in example three, Genesis has only nickels and dimes in her piggy bank and that the total amount in her piggy bank is 75 cents and that there are nine coins in all. So if we let N equal nickels and D equal the number of dimes, we know that the number of nickels plus the number of dimes equals nine coins. And we also know that they're worth, uh, let's use cents, so we know that five cents times the number of nickels plus 10 cents times the number of dimes equals a total of 75 cents. And we could have used you know, 0.05n plus 0.1d equals 0.75, but it's easier just to use the cents instead of the dollars. So since it's easier, we'll go ahead and solve for one of the variables in this first equation. Let's go ahead and just solve for dimes. So we get the number of dimes equals nine minus the number of nickels. Now we'll substitute for D into the second equation. So five times the number of nickels plus 10 times nine minus the number of nickels equals 75. Simplify by distributing 5n plus 90 minus 10n equals 75. So negative 5n plus 90 equals 75. Subtract 90 from both sides. You get negative 5n equals negative 15. Divide both sides by negative 5. And we get n equals 3. Now we substitute this back into the other equation, d equals nine minus, we got n equals three. So d equals six. So there are six dimes and three nickels. So that gives us nine coins. Now we need to see, does it solve, or does it work in the second equation? So let's go ahead and substitute that five times three nickels plus 10 times six dimes. Hopefully that equals 75. So 15 plus 60, 75 does indeed equal 75. Therefore our solution is correct and we have Genesis has six dimes and three nickels.